Good evening. The family of John Bannon, South Australia's longest serving Labor Premier, has accepted the offer of a state funeral. As tributes flowed today, Mr Bannon was remembered as a man dedicated to serving the state he loved and determined to live an active life even as it was coming to an end. As the 39th Premier of South Australia, John Bannon led our state for a decade. And today, the state's current Premier was leading the tributes to John Bannon. A kind, decent, honourable man that always conducted himself with the highest standards of integrity and he'll be deeply missed. Mr Bannon's grieving family offering their own insight into his final weeks. Revealing the cricket devotee was determined to see the first day-night test at Adelaide Oval and open an exhibition of his father's art before he died yesterday morning. John will be remembered for his commitment to public life in South Australia, but for his family, he will always be a cherished husband, a brother, a father, a grandfather and a dear friend. One of those friends, the man who replaced Mr Bannon as Premier. Lynn Arnold, now an Anglican priest, personally delivered him communion last week. People know that he was a marathon runner, so that he would run these marathons. Well, he treated his life like a marathon. And indeed, he treated his battle with the illness that he had for some years now as a marathon. So he was active right to the very end. Thoughts echoed by another former Labor leader and colleague. He kept the cancer at bay for, for, for years and, and still kept working on the things he was passionate about. Praise, too, from the Prime Minister. Long years after his retirement from Parliament, he continued to make a contribution to public service. He was loved, admired and well respected by all who worked with him. If it's true to say that um, a good life is a life led with purpose, John Bannon was all purpose and that purpose was public service. And Rory McLaren is at State Parliament. Rory, do we know yet when Mr Bannon's state funeral will be held? We certainly do, Kate. The state government confirmed late this afternoon that the state funeral for John Bannon will be held from one o'clock next Monday at St Peter's Cathedral. Now, the funeral will be the chance to reflect on the life of a man whose political rise was almost as rapid as his political fall, but who remained, who remained dignified throughout. The collapse of the state bank was caused by others, but ultimately spelled the end of John Bannon's political career. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've uh, decided today to... Uh tender my resignation as Premier of South Australia and leader of the State Parliamentary Labor Party. John Bannon's rise began in 1979 with his election as State Opposition Leader following the end of the Dunstan era. He'd been in Parliament for only two years and a minister for just one. His time on the opposition benches just as brief. In 1982 he swept away the Tonkin Liberal government. So there is absolutely no doubt what the people of South Australia want to be the result of this election. Bannon's public approval rating soared as he rode a wave of big-ticket successes at home. His watershed year of 1985 saw the opening of the Adelaide Casino, creating more than 1,000 jobs and boosting tourism. Just weeks earlier, the city hosted its first Formula One Grand Prix, an event Mr Bannon was instrumental in luring to the state. A special type of person, you know, because he was a leader of our state, but also a person who... Uh, had a great passion for what he did and a great respect for the people that worked with him. And to complete the 85 trifecta, he defeated John Olsen at the polls. His legacy should be seen in the totality of the years of contribution of public service that he made. Mr Bannon went on to win a third term despite the Liberals securing more than 52% of the vote, his final and most sombre victory. He seemed to have uh, succeeded in remaining in government. Uh, it's going to be a big job of work. I'm very much looking forward to it. He had hoped to lead South Australia to great prosperity with the opening of the Olympic Dam copper and uranium mine and also delivered the lucrative submarine building contract. But the state's economy would soon be sunk by the state bank. And while two inquiries cleared him of any deliberate wrongdoing, it spelled the end of Labor's longest serving Premier. I've got to pick up the responsibility for that and I don't shirk that responsibility. After politics, he pursued an academic career, gaining a PhD in South Australian political history at Flinders University. John Bannon also served on the SA Cricket Association and Cricket Australia boards, and most recently helped turn his beloved Adelaide Oval into the stadium that it is today, joining a one-time adversary. It was a joy to work with him, and we got on exceptionally well. Will MacDonald, Nine News.